What's going on guys, Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. We are at George's family's house. We got everybody here. We got the mini NES killer going on. We fixed his micro center bar top. This right now is the ultimate game room. So I got George right here. George say hi. Okay. This Me is the man. That's it. I didn't pay him to say that. Did so. not. Found me on YouTube, yes. found me then on Instagram, messaged me on, in, no, on Instagram, right? On Instagram. Messaged me on Instagram, he liked Antonio's arcade, the artwork. Yes. Originally, you liked the white artwork. Yep. All of a sudden, his wife surprised him with the Micro Center arcade, which we're gonna talk about that today. Surprised him with the Micro Center arcade, but it works, <laughs> but it's not a Game Case arcade bar top, but we made it a Game Case arcade bar top. So George is pretty handy, he's pretty good. He was able to get a program, but something was happening with the Zimmo controllers. Gave me a ring. He's out here in Long Island. We went to Long Island. I'm here right now. We fixed his bar top. We got the kids now playing the mini NES killer on this. George right now is the biggest customer I ever had. I love it. This guy, I just have to interrupt you because go, this go, guy go. stayed until 2 o'clock in the morning on a machine he had zero gain for because right. he wanted to get it fixed. Drove all the way from Jersey to Long Island just so my kids could be on a hundred screen TV right. and fix my $800 paperweight from Micro Center. <laughs> the $800 paperweight. So again, today we're gonna be talking about the Micro Center bar top arcade because we we're actually able to play it and all that. So again, we have, the, we have the kids playing right now, the mini NES killer, four player action, four Super Nintendo style joys just going on. Say hi guys. Hi. Say hi. Okay, state your name, tell me your name. Nick. Nick. Tristan. Tristan. Luke. Luke. Yeah, all the kids are here. We're all having a blast right now in George's like basement arcade. I never seen this a 100 inch projector TV playing The Simpsons. I've never seen this before. It's amazing. That's okay. why we brought the big guns in. That's it. This big is BB. now this is now like the biggest screen I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Game Case Arcade. This is the biggest screen that Game Case Arcade has ever been on. Bonus stage. You gotta hit the buttons together. Get ready. Let's see who can do it. Together, together. Uh-oh, I can't tell who's winning. Whoever Lisa is, maybe. Oh, that's me. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you got it. Wait, that might have been a tie. I won, I won. For one. Let's see. Oh, it was a tie. Oh, it was a tie. Wow, oh. good job. Wow. Anyway, again, we're looking at, real quick, the Micro Center Bar Top Arcade. So again, with George, wife boy George, the Micro Center Bar Top. He got it wired. I guided him. He called me uh, Sunday. Last Sunday, he called me. And I'm pretty good at describing and over the phone it took us about an hour and a half to get everything done. He got he started it right. He got the grounds wired correctly, but then it came time for the Zinmo pin out. And unfortunately, I'm gonna show a picture. Micro Center's Zinmo was a nightmare on how they explained the pin out. It was just a nightmare. It didn't look yeah, right. It, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it bigger on the screen. It just it just didn't look right. There was something off about it. Again, he had everything written up. He had everything working. Then it came down to the pie image. So we got the pie image. George got the pie image down, but we couldn't get player two, the joystick to work. Meaning player one was controlling player two. So after a lot of trial and error, at least he was able to get player one to work. I came down today. And unfortunately, the Pi 3 kicked my butt. We weren't able to get it to work, but I did bring a Pi 2 for him. It so totally saved the day. It saved the day. At least saved we had two day. players. The kids couldn't wait. I had to get out of the way. The kids cooked me off of it. The kids right now can definitely enjoy two-player arcade. Before I came, it was only one player. They could only play one player, so that meant everybody watching each other. They couldn't do anything with it. So now we got it fixed. Not to mention the image that we got for George is very much nicer. Of running a track mode, you can literally now leave this bar top arcade alone and it'll play and it'll do all the artwork. The biggest thing I really came out to see with George, I wanted to check out the Micro Center bar top. We really, I wanted to see it. Again, I saw it in Micro Center and I wasn't able to touch it. I wasn't able to open it because I got yelled at by one of the guys working there. So it's really great to see it. I can't really knock it. It is almost Game Room Solutions quality to the T. Again, it is a very nice cabinet. The, what is that, gold you picked, George? This gold is a nice sword. comes with it. Right, gold trim on it. I like the joysticks, we got bad style joysticks. Again, 12 buttons. 
We got the controller buttons on the side of the face here. It's pretty nice. You got the speakers on the bottom, right at the grill. I'm gonna show you the back door, which I'm personally not a fan of. But all in all, pretty fair cabinet. This cabinet almost looks like the first like series from the Game Room Solutions, meaning the there is no, I noticed that there's no latch to hold the joist, the, the control panel down. Usually there's like a door stopper here that he makes that just holds it. So this one didn't come with it, but in all honesty, it's not, you don't have a headache with it. It doesn't lift up and down, but he does have the old school cam lock. So originally, again, my first bar top I bought from Ryan, he had the control panel set up like that. So you could really take the control panel out and work on it. But with George's like experience, we kind of run into the cam lock screws unscrewing and loosening. So, I mean, again, that's the only real downside, the real flaw to it, but it works. He has a screwdriver handy, it's not that big of a deal. I do notice that definitely the wood, it's actually real wood. This is like the big plus side. It is using real wood. Game Room Solutions does use MDF. So it's really good to actually see real quality wood on this. Again, my only gripe to it is the back door. I really kind of wish there was a back door swinging, but this one kind of has like a, oh, the panel's off, perfect, that's okay. You're good, that's it. So, where's the panel, George? Oh, it's here. So, it's basically like an Ikea drawer, like the base to an Ikea drawer. You basically slot it in, and then it'll slide in and out just like so. With this though, it does leave a two inch gap on the bottom for the opening for the wire. So, again, it is pretty nice. I did suggest to George that he has, he does have the amp. He has the amp on the top. And right now, like for example, we were testing it and to control the volume on it, you had to flip the arcade around, you had to turn around. It's a headache. Not to mention there's so much wiring that you could actually move the amp. 100 inch, two player metal slug is the best thing I've seen all day today. <laughs> Jesus, <boy. laughs> Go right, Kay, go right. Kay, go. Kay, go right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she's got the rock. Jump over the rock. Remember, Metal Slug is a four yeah. button game. Yeah. You just gotta figure out the button. You just gotta figure out the button. But again, so I noticed with George, he does have the amp. I told him to move the amp. The amp is on, is where the speakers are. So now if he wants to lower it, it's very difficult. It's, it's very tough. So I did suggest, yeah, you have to put your hand into it. So we did suggest we're gonna move the amp down and then we're gonna move it underneath the control panel. But right now, the amp and the speakers are always made before you close it. So he has to get like a handheld screwdriver to get into it. Uh, the only other random thing is, you, you cut this notch out? I cut it. Like, that T-molding notch cut, George had to cut the notch on that. So, but it's just the way that it's built. It really should be a swinging door. But in all in all, it's not that bad. I can't really knock it. It's just, it's a, it's a beautiful cabinet. But now, you know, the only downside really is like the LED buttons, there's no LEDs to it. You could buy the LED buttons. You could get the LED strip for the marquee. But all in all, nice cabinet. Definitely the artwork that George picked on it is beautiful. Not that ugly yellow, whatever they had going on. Luckily, there's no yellow to it. This is actually a very, I like the artwork on this. It's a very cool artwork. Yeah, the stand-up wasn't nice. The stand-up was hideous. Now, as far as like adding like the LEDs, that's always an add-on. You could always add that. That's not something that has to be pre-built. So, and I'm very surprised because it's your first time, but your T-molding is like, it's tight. My like, salvageable integral paperweight. Like, dude, it's, it's, skill set. It's, <laughs> it's, it's very, did you use a mallet or a hammer? A hammer. Really? And you didn't do any scratching on it. No. So. The team only again. I've seen like I, it's better than mine to be honest, dude. I'll be, I'm not BSing it. This is beautiful. Again, as far as a micro center bar top arcade, it worked. It get, he it got the Zinmo. You got everything. But when it came down to like the image that a lot of people don't understand is that you need the right image. Uh, so originally, micro center gave you the 64. Well, no. So they gave you a 32. Okay. So micro center gives you a 32 gigabyte SD card, but you have to do the hard work of getting the image done and everything. So. I came in with 128 gigs, so I think the, oh, you did a 64. I did a 64, but I, the one thing I do want to say, because everybody should know this, I went back to Micro Center. Micro Center refused to return it because it had been already bought and built. And so when I asked the manager to help me set this up, nobody in the store knew. His answer to me was that it's only two weeks old and nobody knew. Mm. Uh, the kid that built it may know it, so they were going to call me in a week, mm. right? So basically, I bought this $800 paperweight mm. and even past getting the image 
you still have to map the controllers, right. which is a whole other animal. Right. And yes. th thank God for Vic, otherwise it really would have been a paperweight. <laughs> and a bone of contention. But the, the way that he helped me out, no bones, he, he did it from soup to nuts. He pretty much rebuilt this whole thing. The only thing that you see here is the arcade. That's it. Everything else inside here, he fixed. Right. So nothing that it comes with, standard, is what you would want to buy or it even compares to you. Right, right, right. So again, they give you the parts and everything. They give you the carts. And, you know, it took about an hour. I guided George through the wiring and the pinouts because he was confused by the pinouts. And I saw the drawing and it was a nightmare. I mean, that pinout drawing is, I don't know where they got it from. It's a nightmare. But for Micro Center to tell George, you can't return it because you built it and you opened it is a joke. That's, that's not right. No. That's, and usually Micro Center is good with returning. I mean, it's usually easy, but yes, you did build it, but you should be able to take, get your money back. It wasn't what he thought, but also it's like it was like a challenge, you know. It's it's. Well, they it's, couldn't even figure it. Right, and you couldn't figure it. They couldn't help him configure it. So, you know, in all honesty, with Micro Center's end, they're gonna just say, "Hey, listen, it's a piece of wood we sold you. We didn't sell you the image. We didn't sell you all that." I get that, but at least George witnessed that it's not it's not easy. Right. It's not 100%. something that you could do in an hour. Even us here, we're down here for about two or three hours. I'm trying to fix his image, and I just gave up because I don't know what it is about the Zin Mo, but the Zin Mo was kicking our butt. You could do a zero delay kind of USB thing, which is another option, but the Zinmo was given, it was there, and it usually works. On my build, it works. I don't know why it didn't work for yours. Maybe it's a newer version of Zinmo, I don't know, but it was kicking our butt, it was amazing. Well, but if I can leave any insight for anybody, you see the machines over here that the boys are paying? Yeah, these are super cool. These are the best. Super cool, $350 a piece, so you're talking about $700 right there. $800 right here, just for this. Right. Well above what it would cost for a game room solution Vic VP machine. Right. 110%. So now, again, you bought Micro Center Complete. Yeah. Like, it was like 700? 699, yeah. 699, 700. Tax. After tax was 750? Yep. Got it. So 750, they gave you everything, but they gave you a 32 gigabyte SD card. And then you had to do the whole wiring, and, you know, Micro Center is really meant for, like, DIY stuff. Yeah. But... You know, spend another, I guess, 50 to 100 bucks and I'll build it with you. I'll give you the LED buttons on it. But all in all, again, we can still salvage this. We can still upgrade it. I always say, like for you, George, beat it up. Yep. Use the buttons they gave you, beat it up, abuse it, and then we'll upgrade it later on. At least it plays. Buttons click. It just doesn't have the LED aesthetic to it. But all in all, buttons click. It's all fine and dandy. Again, as far as a micro center build, it's not that bad of a cabinet, so I'm not gonna badmouth it. It's a nice cabinet. If I was ever to get a customer that says, hey Vic, I need one tomorrow, I would probably pick it up. My only downsides really is the back door, the control panel swing, that's the old school way. It should have been a straight piece of wood, and just the artwork. That's the only real downside. I'm working with the Zin. Right, so now the Pi 3, so I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's that, but the Pi 3 could not work with the Zin Mo. It wouldn't recognize it as two players. It recognized it as one gamepad. So again, it might have been the image, it might be the Pi, it might be the Zinmo. I gave him a Pi 2 image that I had, so either way, his family can now enjoy two-player action. I mean, Four since player on the screen. since last week, I mean, we got it up last week, yes. but it was only one player. One player. Like, they were playing Street Fighter, and then like, why is my controller not working with this? Yeah. And then now, a week later, at least you got work with it. But now, again, it all depends on what image we get. I mean, we got a track mode running on this, you could literally walk away and it's beautiful. George, as you can kind of see, is a big Disney fan. So luckily the image does have a Disney wheel. I mean, that was he's, a custom big VP. he's right now like in heaven right now with oh, this. Heaven. So this is amazing. Beyond. I think we did go with it. George, I really hope you like the bar top now. This is set. Again, Vic VP, Game Case, Arcades. We're at George's basement. Probably the best game arcade place I've ever been to. Guys, I'll see you on the next one.